looking for a good video game deal this holiday season, look no further than Target because this Sunday, November 5th, is the start of buy two get one free on video games. In today's video, we're going to talk about this pre-Black Friday ad and why it's got pros and cons. Let's get started. What is going on guys? Jim here with a video today and yes, today we're going to talk about a great deal that comes a couple times a year. That is the buy two get one free deal on video games at Target. Now keep in mind... This is a pre-Black Friday ad, so this is not the real thing, but this is definitely better than its other two uh, deals from Walmart and Best Buy, I'll tell you that. But we still haven't seen GameStop. We'll talk about that on today's video, but today's main focus is going to be about Target's buy two, get one free, and why this deal is extremely important for a pre-Black Friday ad because of what we've seen in other places. Before we're going to start beep, bleh, bleh. Before we get started today's video, guys, definitely consider that subscribe button, like this video, comment down below. Are you going to be doing the Target buy two, get one free, or are you going to be just waiting out to wait for the Black Friday deals? There's so much to talk about in today's video, so little time, let's get started. All right, guys, so key things to know. Number one, who, anyone who shops at Target can take part in this buy two, get one free. What? It is going to be buy two, get one free on video games, obviously. This channel is about video games, but it does count for board games and activities and stuff like that, all kinds of stuff. You'll see the screen right here. When? This Sunday, November 5th, 2023. 3 a.m. Eastern Time. Make sure you have your uh, calendars and your alarm clock. Be ready for this because uh, 3 a.m. is pretty hard to stay up for, especially for me. Uh, November 12th is when it ends at 3 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's my girlfriend's birthday, which is really cool. Uh, where? Target online and store, obviously. Uh, both places count. And why? Because Target looks to compete with Walmart and Best Buy for early Black Friday deals this holiday season. Before we get started, let's talk about some other ways you can save money with tips and tricks to get the best out of your buy two get one free on video games. So we have other ways you can save. Red card saves you an additional 5%, which is obviously if you're a Target red card holder. And also Target Circle deal is key. Now we're going to talk about that later in the video. But that is a key thing. Keep that in mind. The target circle is obviously the thing on your phone. Uh, you spend a certain amount of money, a, amount of, a certain amount of times, and you will get that deal, and it will count. We'll talk about that in the video, though. Also, make sure you put higher and lower price games in the right order. So, yeah, pretty much 5% for red card. Obviously, the target circle we'll talk about in a little bit. And obviously, you don't want to put $30 games with $60 games if you're buying multiple orders of games. So, for example, if you buy two $60 games, you want to get a free $60 game. You don't want to put it mad in 2019 if it's, if it's even in stock for a free game all right guys so now it's time for some pros and cons i know you guys like this stuff a lot and i enjoy doing it as well really appreciate the support guys like i said but let's talk about pro number one pro number one newer games on the ad seem to include assassin's creed mirage sonic superstars forza and much more so yes like i said if you are looking for brand new titles that just came out in october Obviously, we're just gotten to November, but I think Assassin's Creed just came out about a couple weeks ago, Forza maybe a month ago, and Superstars of Sonic was like a week or two ago. I don't know if they're going to include other games, maybe Lords of the Fallen. Uh, we're going to see, uh, oh, there's so many games, Lies of P. Uh, talking about Souls games, of course, but uh, there's a lot to be uh, to be here. Will Metal Gear Solid count? Will Red Dead Redemption or uh, remaster account obviously that's not a remaster that's just what you call a port pro number two exclusive games are shown that also count including the games of like forza again spider-man miles morales and final fantasy 16 to name a few but yes if you're looking for final fantasy 16 this is the best i mean the best deal you could possibly do because final fantasy 16 is never on sale obviously miles morales isn't gonna be on sale it's it's i know i get it they should have shown Spider-Man 2, but I think I know why they're not showing Spider-Man 2. We'll talk about that later in the video as well. But yeah, so Spider-Man Miles Morales has been out for a while, since uh, launch. Final Fantasy 16 is the real star of this, uh, and Final Forza are the two stars, one of the Xbox, one of PlayStation. Those two games count. Pro number three, by far the best early slash pre-Black Friday deals on gaming so far compared to doors like Walmart and Best Buy with their mediocre deals. So yes, I made two videos, one the other day about Best Buy and its pre-Black Friday deals, and I definitely had something to say about that, but yesterday I made a deal about the Walmart video, and uh, yeah, you might want to see these two videos on the screen right here, and uh, uh, yeah, if you want to see something really bad with a deal, check the Walmart thing. So far, nothing has changed for that Walmart thing at all. Best Buy, obviously, is going to do better, hopefully, but when it comes to early Black Friday deals, you got... Best Buy and Walmart lagging totally behind this Target buy two get one free deal that was just leaked last night, and I'm telling you, it's gonna be an amazing one. Pro number four, major blockbuster titles like Hogwarts Legacy and Jedi Survivor are shown to count as seen as seen on the screen right here. 
I was just making a video the other day of 10 games you should wait to buy until Black Friday 2023 or the holiday season in general, and Hogwarts Legacy was definitely one of them, and obviously Jedi Survivor would have been another one as well. Those two games, I'm pretty sure I had Jedi Survivor on there. Definitely want to buy these two games if you've been waiting for these, because buy two, get one free with these two games, and then getting, let's say, uh uh final fantasy for free or whatever way it goes uh make sure it's the same prices obviously if you're looking for two excellent games on this list it's definitely going to be hogwarts legacy and it's going to be jedi survivor for sure those are two not new games but they're from this year and they're they're highly highly acclaimed and i can see why and those two would make for a great holiday season buy two get one free for a gift or just for yourself the last pro we were talking about this really early in the video target circle and red card stack let's talk about that a little more deep if you're looking for the best way to optimize this buy two get one free the red card will save you five percent per every single game you buy with this deal it might not be in everybody's uh inbox but it could be in there so check it out at 90 dollars i think four times see the screen right here then you will get 30 dollars right after that or sometimes soon after that so yeah you're getting 30 dollars if you're if you're looking to spend 300 dollars in video games please make sure you input and start that target circle deal because if you don't click redeem or whatever it says it's not going to work if you have to do it yourself and it's very important and that's one of the key things to saving the most with this deal and it's thirty dollars. You don't lose that. So yes, there are many pros, and I really highly, highly suggest doing this deal. Obviously, we're not the overall stuff yet, but yes, I highly recommend this deal so far. Cons are still there, though. Let's talk about them. Con number one: It looks like the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three does not count. Now, this one is going to get a lot of questions on the comment section below. I can definitely see this. Call of Duty only ad isn't really next to the buy two get one free title. And they never ever include a Call of Duty on a buy two get one free if it just comes out the same week. So yeah, Call of Duty comes out I think next Friday and that's when this ad is going to be in between. So I highly doubt we're going to see this as a buy two get one free. I'm trying to trick you into thinking that Call of Duty is included because it's so close to the buy two get one free uh, title on there. But it could be included. But don't expect it to be included because this is gonna, a AAA title that literally hasn't even come out yet. It doesn't come out until the end of the actual deal. So towards Friday, obviously when it comes out, you won't see this deal end until Sunday. So will two days make it count for that deal? I've seen so many things in the past when the game comes out Friday and it never counts for the buy two going free. But then there's some times when they really just include anything. So... Call of Duty, don't expect it to count if you're looking forward to that one. Con number two, expect Nintendo Switch exclusive games not to count. Now this one is obviously something we've seen many and many times over. A lot of people get furious over this and I understand. Obviously the Target does not seem to like to include Nintendo Switch exclusives for buy two get one free. We have seen it with so many titles before when Odyssey came out. We've seen it when Mario Party games came out. We've seen it when Pikmin came out. We've seen it so many freaking times over that they never just included. They never include it at all. The new Pokemon games, nothing counts. It has to be some sort of like Mario and Sonic game or some sort of third party game for it to count. Let's take a look at the screen right here. We have Pikmin 4, Wander, and Raincoat. Code. Now, Rain Code came out in the summer. Pikmin came out in late summer and Wander just came out about a month ago or three or two weeks ago, whatever it is. So yeah, don't expect those games to count. I highly, highly doubt that these three games especially are going to count. You might see older games like Skyward Sword HD, older Switch exclusives count like, like Odyssey this time around, but you're not going to see these three. It's a very low chance. Con number three. This one is really, really a possibility. Con number three is Spider-Man 2. Marvel Spider-Man 2, the biggest game of the year, literally one of the game of the year contenders, is not shown to be included in the ad. Now, there's three reasons why I think this one's not going to count. One, it's not in the front page of the ad with Miles Morales taking its spot. Number two, it's not even near Call of Duty as a new release. Number three, it's a PlayStation 5 Sony exclusive. Good luck getting that on sale. You might get, like I said, Ghost of Tsushima or Miles Morales because they're older uh, first party uh, PlayStation uh, 5 games, but... This one, Spider-Man 2, don't expect it to count. I really wish I could say it would count, but uh, Sony is, is, is a little greedy when it comes to uh, buy two, get one free. Same with Nintendo, and I think this is one game you're not going to see. Con number four, Target stock in-store and online isn't the biggest selection. So obviously Target online especially is very quick to go out of stock, and the store is literally sometimes a ghost town or it's full of stuff to the uh, overflowing. So it depends. Uh, my Target personally never has games in stock, and the online obviously depends if you're quick enough. Uh, there isn't an inventory like GameStop, if you're thinking that, or even Best Buy, rather, or Walmart. I think it's one of the, the lowest stocks besides Best Buy, because obviously Best Buy is taking the digital route soon, so that's sad. But 
Um, when it comes to target selection, you might have a hard time figuring out to buy a 2 game free unless you are looking for those newer games. If you're looking for some of the older games, it might be a little harder to find. And the final con, this one's a huge one. Expect pre-orders, like games like Avatar and Super Mario RPG not to count because these games are obviously ones in December and ones in late November. So these two games in particular, Avatar is obviously a third party game. Uh, it looks to be a great, great game. It comes out in early December. Don't expect that to count unless there's a glitch in the beginning or something like that. And then Super Mario RPG, I highly, highly doubt that's gonna count if Wonder wouldn't count to begin with. But like I said, that's just speculation with Wonder. Expect it not to count though. Super Mario RPG is 100% gonna count. It's almost 100% not gonna count, so keep that in mind. So if you're looking for pre-orders, don't expect these two games to work. Expect some more of the lower and uh, name games to count. So there are still things that are a mystery with this deal. Will newer games like Lords of the Fallen and Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 count? Will this include games on sale as well with the deal? Will this deal be better than waiting for the real Black Friday ads? There's so many questions. This deal be the best way to buy new releases, titles shown like Mirage and Vinyl Fantasy 16, for example. So honestly, uh, these things are a mystery and I can't answer them, but I really wanna know these, these things. Those are the remaining questions about this deal. Uh, well, like I said, Hot Wheels would be one of the biggest games for me to get and obviously Lords of the Fallen would. There's still a lot of mystery around this deal. But overall, if you are looking for this deal, you are looking for newer games such as Mirage and Sonic, if you're looking to save some extra money with Red Card and Target Circle, and if you're looking to buy games like Hogwarts and Jedi Survivor, and then you're also looking for pre-Black Friday deals that are actually good with gaming, then this is you. This is for you. This is definitely 100% for you because that's a major amount of pros. Obviously, if you're looking for newer Nintendo Switch exclusive games like Pikmin 1 and 2 Collection, for example, or Wander, or if you're looking for Spider-Man 2 or, you know, some pre-orders to count or even modern warfare 3 to count and you're not happy with the inventory then this might not be for you so there's a lot of questions to be asked if this is going to be a pro or con this goes hand in hand obviously i think it's one of the best deals compared to walmart and best buy so far but there is a lot of cons that you need to consider if you're looking for those certain games or that certain type of specific deal. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. That was a pretty lengthy one. I want to go over pros and cons about Target's upcoming buy two, get one free deal that happens a few times a year. I really want to say, on my opinion, that this is one of the best deals you're going to see for pre-Black Friday, considering what we saw with Best Buy and especially Walmart. This deal is really good, in my opinion. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know in the comment section below, are you going to be doing this buy two, get one free deal? Are you going to wait for GameStop's pre-Black Friday deal? to happen or even think about maybe the real Black Friday deals to happen in a week or two from now. So many things can change, so many things can happen in between now and Black Friday. So many games could drop. You could see, you never know, you could see a wander $20 off on Best Buy for Black Friday. You don't know. So many things in this video I covered today and I really want to know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you guys think. Stay all stay positive, most of all stay safe and I'll see you guys on another video soon. Peace out guys.